So this is Obi-Wan Kenobi. He's a Netherlands dwarf rabbit. With a sensorized hand, it's a lot easier to manipulate the wing of the duck and be confident that I'm not hurting it. On screen, you can basically see what the sensors are picking up. Imagine robot fingers that can actually feel. They can feel textures, temperatures, and vibrations. Sounds like science fiction, but it's real. For years, we have been developing machines designed to mimic human tasks and behaviors with ever-increasing levels of success. We now have machines to harvest our food, vacuum our floors, and even drive our cars. But what about one of the most fundamental elements that makes us human? What about a robotic hand that can feel? I myself am a congenital amputee, which means I was born with one hand. In elementary school, I had a giant metal hook and it was just big, shiny, and silver, and it, it opened like this, and it was a, basically a giant pirate hook like Captain Hook wears. As I uh, grew older, I definitely found myself being a lot more shy about it. I would always find a reason to take it off. My whole idea of the ideal prosthetic hand is one where you don't realize you're wearing a prosthetic hand and it just functions as a hand. A robotic finger would be very helpful, specifically for me just because it would make my prosthetic hand, which is essentially a dummy hand, it would just make it smarter and intuitive. The BioTac is a biomimetic tactile sensor modeled after the human fingertip that's capable of sensing everything that your finger can detect. So the reason we went with the biomimetic design is just an appreciation for nature. The human hand represents billions of years of evolution, and that's something that needs to be recreated synthetically in order to mimic the sense of touch. The BioTac fingertips are equipped with human-like fingernails because your nails are key in sensing the tangential forces applied to the surface of your finger pads. Fingerprints also play an essential role in tactile sensations by enhancing vibrations as they slide over different textures. It's also a bone-like core and an inflated skin that gives it a compliance and deformation similar to a human fingertip. When you're using a prosthetic hand as opposed to a normal hand, you have to pay attention to the amount of force you're applying to any object. With contact detection, it allows you to pay significantly less attention to manipulating fragile objects like an egg than with non-sensorized prosthetic hand. With eggs, it's just nice to know you're not going to crack them. It would take me so much longer to multitask when cooking eggs than I just did. It's just way more convenient. It's going to make using the prosthetic hand I have now easier and more intuitive. It's basically going to allow me to move through my day quicker and faster and more like someone who has two hands. When Vikram is making an omelet, it's not like he's doing something impossible for somebody with a simple mechanical prosthesis. The difference is that he can actually enjoy it because his hand has reflexes and can act on its own, just like our biological hands do. With each new sense we learn to engineer, we come closer to robotics that can truly recreate the human experience. Check out more episodes of Cyborg Nation by subscribing to The Wired channel.